You know how to do a little finger picking, but you want to add a slap between chords to make your playing more rhythmic. You are in the right place. Now there's a few ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the two most common, the ones that I use almost every time I finger pick a song. Now one of the techniques is a little easier than the other, so let's start with that one. Now a good slap begins with making the proper shape with your picking hand. The natural tendency when finger picking, especially when you're first starting out, is to let your fingers sort of drift away from the strings like this and you end up picking with a couple fingers and doing the spidery thing and what happens when you do that is you end up doing slaps like this. You'll see people play something like right and their hands just, it's just a, doesn't sound great and it's quite a slow and awkward approach so what you really want to do is you want to practice curling your fingers up underneath your palm like this okay I call this the ping pong paddle grip I talked about this in another video but I'll just give a brief demonstration so it's like you're holding a ping pong paddle right anyone plays ping pong okay so Make sure you hold that paddle. Don't let it go. If your hands come out, you drop the paddle. We curl our fingers up underneath the palm like this. Here's a picture of John Mayer doing it. And here's another one of Andy McKee doing the same. One reason being because it enables you to be ready to slap. Not like this, right? But like this. All right, so you can see here that all it takes to make a good slap is your thumb. You don't really need anything else. Take your guitar, mute your strings, and just... Slap that E string slowly several times. Taking your thumb, just kind of rotating your wrist and popping it on that string. And see if you can get a little smacking sound. You see my fingers are curled up underneath here. They're not out here. Right here. Curl them up underneath. Now the E string is usually going to give you the strongest slap, but you can also get a slap from the A string, the D string. That, that E one though really pops. Of course, you need to be able to put the slap in context of some chords or it's kind of useless. So, for our purposes today, we're gonna work on the technique using three chords that use a different bass string, all three of them. That'll be an E chord, E major, an A, this is just standard position. I'm gonna assume you know these chords, and a D. Now you notice that when I strum those, with the E I start here, with the A I start here, and with the D I start here. Okay, I'm picking those chords on purpose because they each have different bass strings, and that way we can practice our slap with all three strings. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an E chord in your left, in your fretting hand, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pluck that E string, and then you're gonna pluck these three strings with these three fingers. The D, G, and B strings. And then you'll slap that E string. So that's a good start, but let's make it a little more interesting. Let's do a pluck. And this time, as soon as you pluck these, you're gonna slap. And then you're gonna pluck again like this. Okay, let's do that again. This string, these three, slap, and then pluck all four together. Then we're gonna slap one more time. And we'll just loop it. Now we're gonna apply that same technique to an A chord. So we're gonna slap, we're gonna pluck this string, the A. I just have a standard A chord down there. We're gonna pluck the A string, then we're gonna pluck these, then we're gonna slap the thumb on the A string and pluck all four of those strings. So again. Notice my fingers are always underneath. They're not sticking out. They're not doing this. They're just curled up under the palm. And I realize this is harder than it looks to keep those fingers underneath there. So just work on it. Be, be patient. You'll notice they're kind of like hooks. They're kind of just hooking underneath there. They're not like sideways. They're not like this. They're at an angle to the strings. All right, now that we have the A chord, let's move to that D chord. Notice I'm plucking this, these, I've shifted down now, and then I'm slapping the D and plucking all four. 
and then slapping again. Now let's make a full progression out of it. We'll do the E chord, the A chord, the D chord, and back to the A. So you're gonna have to shift your fingers, your thumb down and your fingers down as we go. Here we go, nice and slow. Back to A. We can do it fast. And we can do this with any chords we please. I'll do it with G, C, and A minor now. So that's the simple way to add a slap to fingerstyle guitar. Now that we have the first technique down, let's move on to the second. Now this one is a little bit more challenging. Many know this trick because John Mayer has used it in several of his songs. And I'm going to show you this one, but be warned, it is a little bit trickier. What we're doing here is something like Stop This Train by John Mayer. It's got more of that shuffle. In order to make it happen and have it sound like expert level, you need to perfect the art of turning your fingers into hooks. You're Captain Hook now. You just arrived at Neverland, okay? And you're ready to show off your finger picking abilities to the Lost Boys. So mute your strings. Put your hand over the strings right here, like this, or down here. Now, with strings muted, we're going to pluck the E bass string. And then we'll pluck these three strings. But after you pluck them this time, instead of just slapping, you're going to slap and extend your fingers, like this. Now, notice I'm not extending all that much, right? I'm not like like a cat falling from a building where their legs get stiff, right? I'm just barely stretching the fingers out. So after we do that, we're gonna bring our fingers back and lightly hook the notes, remember Captain Hook style, or the notes we just brushed. You can pluck one note or two or three, whatever you like best for that particular song. But for now, let's do all three because I think that's probably the easiest. So it's gonna look like this. The next step is to add an extra pluck and one more slap extension into the pattern, looking like this. So we've got plug, down, up, hook it again, and slap extend and one more hook. And then finally, we're ready to add some chords. Now let's make an E chord like we did before. I have an E major down here. And we're gonna do the same technique we just did, but now with the chord. I did it twice there. Now we'll do it with an A, plucking here and slapping here as well. And then the D. Back to the A. And E. And we can do that at a medium speed and it sounds like this. And you'll notice as I'm going, I'm starting to isolate certain strings with my hook. I'm not always just plucking all three on my way back. I'm kind of picking which ones I want to hear. So here's at full speed. So you heard there I was doing some, ham some pull-offs and hammer-ons. So don't worry too much about that for now. Just focus on hook. Hook, uh, uh. And that's the whole technique. Take it slow and then start to pick up the speed. And then add your chords. Here's key of B. If you made it this far and you understand how both techniques work, congratulations. Now you can start to use these. I use them whenever I finger pick. They make me sound like I know what I am doing. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now go check out my channel, watch the other guitar tricks and tips, and I look forward to seeing you on that next video.